Lesson 11.1a, Analyzing Dot Plots. We can use dot plots to analyze a data set, especially with regard to its center and spread. So here we have a little dot plot. We can see the dots above the numbers. The center of this data set is 5. The spread of this data set is from 3 to 9. Now, we covered dot plots and how to read them and make them in 6th grade math, 16.4b, c, and d, and I'll have links to those if you need a quick review, because it's been a while. The frequency of a data value is the number of times it occurs in the data set. The distribution of a data set shows the spread of the values. So we can see the frequency of 9. It occurs 5 times. The distribution is the spread. So this is a dot plot of the ages of classmates' younger siblings. So this is how old all their younger siblings are. Now look at 2. 2 is an outlier. It's a data value that is far from the others. You can see these are all clustered together, and this one's far from the other values. Tala surveyed her classmates for the ages of their younger siblings. The dot plot shows their different ages in years. Now we can describe the shape of the dot plot as mostly grouped to the right side and centered around 9. The shape is centered around 9 because most dots occur at 9. The center, with an equal number of dots on each side, is actually around 8 and 5 tenths, 8 and a half. It would be around here. The spread can be described as starting at 2 and ending at 11, with most between 8 and 11. This is where most of the data values are. It's where most of the dots are. And 2 is an outlier. We can calculate the mean, median, and range of the data in Tala's dot plot. The mean is the average. We total up all of the data values. We get 169. There's 20 dots, so that means there's 20 data values. So that's what we're going to divide it by. And we get 8 and 45 hundredths. The median would be the middle number, that is 9. And the range would be the lowest to highest, that would be from 2 to 11. The range is 9 years. Now, more than half of her classmates have a sibling older than 8 years old. So here's 8 years old. If we were to split this here, this is more than half of her classmates. They're Siblings are older than 8 years old. To find the mean, the average, we add all the values and divide by the amount of values. We have a 2, a 5, a 6. We have two sevens, which is 14. We have three eights, which is 24. We have 9 times 5, which is 45. We have 4 times 10, which is 40. And 3 times 11 is 33. We add them all up and get 169. There are 20 dots, which means there's 20 data values. So we're going to divide by 20, and we get 8 and 45 hundredths. For the median, we list the values from least to greatest. And we find the middle number, or the average of the two middle numbers. There's 20 data values, so we've got two middle numbers. We add them together and divide by 2. We get 9 for our median. Take a look at this dot plot. This dot plot can be described as evenly spread out with most dots in the center. We can see there are more in the center, but it's pretty evenly spread out. It's not real tall and peaking like the other one did. The other one had a tall peak at 9. This one's kind of evenly spread out, isn't it? So we finished 11.1a, we're going to move on to 11.1b, comparing dot plots visually. We're going to compare how they look to us. Make sure you understand how to find the mean, the median, and the range of the data values. Have a great day.
and join me for the second part of the lesson. Bye.